What's happening everyone? My name is Peace Streak and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Well, here we are in the last class trial. And as many of you know from the last episode, we are looking for clues as to find out who killed Nagato and why. And not only that, but Chiaki and I have found some interesting items in Nagato's room like a gas mask, some gloves, and even this Hope Speak Academy student profiles which contained not only Hajime's profile, but everyone's. But my community said that uh, one of the files is fake, and it's actually the traitors. And now that we're finally here, it looks like everything is all set and ready for the last class trial. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. Yeah, yeah, I know, we've been through this. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Monami? Oh my, Monami? My cute little sister? Ow. You're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? She's silent. You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit? Hmm. Um. Shasto! What? Well, looks like he's beating her up again. One more time! I guess he's trying to make her talk. Jeez! How about this one? This will be my final blow! Guess it didn't work. It's useless. <laughs> Please stop! I feel bad for Monomi. Yeah. You're right! Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monomi! The class trial has started, after all! Yeah. The victim this time is Nagito, who is attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Uh, yeah. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious! Yeah, who? If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor... Hmm... That traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up! Did the traitor really do that? No, that might not be it. What do you mean? Uh, huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger! Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor! Really? Don't say something so stupid! There's no way in hell I'm the traitor! <laughs> now that's more like it! Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? Hmm, excuse me. The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagato. It's here, right? Are they the same person? Or... Well, it's time for us to find out, present our arguments, and see what our truth bullets are. So let's see what everyone says first. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. Hmm. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why hmm. he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. Could that be right? If so, the suspect is whoever found the bomb first! That was um, Fuyuhiko! No, it wouldn't be. I found it by coincidence! There's no way I'd torture someone! Hmm. Okay, so why did the killer have to torture Nagato? No, were the Nagato's wounds on were the wounds on Nagato's body really caused by torture in the first place? 
The torturer. killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut. I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagito's thought. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Whoops, wrong, wrong button. So that's why he was so beat up. Oh, okay, that was the right button. Definitely the bombs. If so, is whoever felt that was for you? I found him. There's no way I'd torture someone. I'm gonna have a wild guess. I think the killer didn't take oh. Nagito's mouth. I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagito's. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so I, beat what? up. What? What were they trying to? Definitely okay. the bombs. If so, Hopefully. is whoever felt that was for you? I, I found him. There's no way I'd torture someone. Let's try this again. The killer didn't take. I'm telling you, they were tortured. The reason Nagito's. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Okay, that was wrong. Uh, Crap! Okay, that was wrong. Let's see here. The killer didn't take. I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagi just. It's because the killer tortured not. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Hmm. Definitely the bomb's hiding place. Okay, that wasn't it. Damn it! Okay, yeah, that, that was wrong. The killer didn't take. I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagito's body was covered with. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. Uh, what see. were they trying to find Which out by torturing him? Duct tape. Definitely the bomb's hiding place. Monokuma plushie, Monokuma panels, oil if lighter. so, the suspect. What's Monokuma's account? Oh, could that be it? That was Fuyuhiko! I found him- There's no way I'd torture someone! The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up! I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagito's- It's because the killer tortured- So that's what- What were they trying to- Definitely the bomb's hiding place! Damn it, that was not it. Crap. Damn it! What am I doing wrong? The killer didn't take. I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagito's. It's because the killer took. So that's why he was. What were they trying to? Definitely the bombs. If so, is whoever found the bomb first? That was Fuyuhiko. I, I, I found it, but there's no way I'd torture someone. Wait, let me check out. Oops. Let me check out that one very quickly. I'm gonna the count. If you knew the bombs were fake, they never revealed that fact to anyone. Duct tape. Crinkles in it. Survival knife. Safe to say that... Could it be the survival knife? Torture wounds. So it's not... I don't think... So it's definitely not the torture wounds. Is it the... Is it... Either the survival knife or the Damn. killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's but it's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was Damn so. It. What were they trying to? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. Okay, that was definitely not it. Damn it! Damn it! Ah, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, the killer didn't time. take. I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagito's. It's because the killer. So that's what. What were they trying to? Definitely the bombs. If so, is whoever found the bomb first? That was Fuyuhiko. I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Ah. Uh. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagito's body was. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Oh damn it! That was not it. Damn it! Oh crap! I'm really messing it up. Crap! <sighs> what was it? The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were the reason Nagito's body. It's because the killer tortured. Oh, that no, was that's it. Wrong. It was the duct tape, and just got a minute left. There we Nagito's go. Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape. So he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. Yeah, that's right. Because if his mouth was taped shut, then... Yeah. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. Yeah. Yeah, because they've only, they, wouldn't even, they wouldn't even need duct tape. I'm prepared. Whoa. All this already? Ah, I just realized it. It's a trap. 
What's a trap? Trap? Stupid, Hajime. You got caught in that trap. What? Stupid? Ah, crap. Here we go again. Rebuttal showdown. Torture wounds, burned rope, survival knife, duct tape, spear of gunger, Akuma plushie. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped, you'd obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. They wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. Hmm. But if you tape his mouth shut? Yeah. How is he supposed to answer anything? True. Pay attention. This is how it went. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Um. Then, after they killed him, let's see here. they duct taped his mouth shut. Torturman's burnt rope. Phew, that was close, you guys. Thanks to me, you guys didn't get caught in the trap. Survival knife? They taped Nagito's mouth after getting information from, tr from him. That sounds reasonable. That clearly contradicts the truth. If you listen to me until the very end, I won't have to go through trouble Pay attention! Myself. This is how it went. First, the killer torched and got information about the bomb's location. Your gunger, my Then, machine. after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. Whew, that was close, you guys. Which one is it? Spear of Gunger? Thanks to me, you guys didn't get caught in the trap. Crap, they taped Nagato's mouth shut. Contradicts the truth. So they duct tape him. Pay attention! This is how it went down! First, the killer tortured and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. That's on it, damn it. Crap! I'm an idiot. Pay attention! This is how it went. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him, they uh. duct taped his mouth shut. Torture wounds? That's on it. Damn it. Crap! Pay attention! This is how it went down. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him. Wait, after they, they duct taped his mouth shut. Phew, that was close, you guys. Wait Thanks to me, you guys didn't get caught in the trap. Pay attention! Hmm. This is how it went down. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him... That's not it. What am I doing wrong? Crap! Ah, crap. Pay attention! This is how it went down. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got no. information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him... They duct taped his mouth shut. Phew, that was close, you guys. I mean, Thanks to me, you guys didn't get caught in the trap. Let me let me get back. To, let me get back. They taped Nagato's mouth shut from getting information from him. That sounds reasonable, but it clearly contradicts the truth. Yeah, let's me the fair area. Pay attention! This is how first the <sighs> killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Did I already do this? Yeah, I already did that. Damn it! Crap! <sighs> Pay attention! This is how it went My first. Not the killer tortured Nagi and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him... Wait. Allow oh, me that to was through it. those words! Oh, that's right! There was no blood in his mouth. On the under his mouth. I'm an no. idiot. There's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. Ah, what was I thinking? My brain was just going a brain fart. What did you say?! Yeah, because there was no blood under the duct tape. Who cares about the duct tape? We might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Yeah. Why do you always side with Hajime? Do you have a crush on him or something? I don't know. Are you in elementary school or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? Yeah, that's, oh yeah, that's right. The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? Yeah. That's right. The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. Yeah. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. Right. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. Mm-hmm. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Yeah. Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. That's a good suggestion for you, Hiko. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. 
However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. That is true. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Who, who would be, have that? Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? I, maybe? If so, it's friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? We don't know. No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. Maybe. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. All the evidence? Mm -hmm. The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? We can't but... think of any other reason. Could that be it? But who could have done that? Hmm. When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Right. Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry. My ears started hurting. Which means, it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. Hmm, maybe. The killer isn't one of us, but that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. True. Even if it was Excuse only me. a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Hmm. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Yeah. Some kind of setup? Like what? I... I do not know that, but that has been the pattern before. Yeah, that's right. That's our Miss Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. Alrighty then, let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. Is that okay, Miss Sonia? Hmm. Damn right it is! Okay! Reason for the fire, huh? They're right. We need to clear that up first. Okay, now we can... I think we're back on track now. Hopefully. Torture wounds, burnt rubs, rifle knife, duct tape, monkey plus sheet, oil lighter. Perfect. The direct cause of the fire was... The oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? Oh, okay. The killer used some kind of setup. Oh. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Oh, 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 oh. Some kind of setup? The Monokuma panels. Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? Damn it. Crap! Crap, okay, okay, I must not lose anymore. The direct cause of the fire, the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? Let's see the killer used says. some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Mm -hmm. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They oh. probably just threw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. Hmm. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, uh -huh. it could have ignited the curtain. Um. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. Nope. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound yes. waves. Oh, sound waves. Oh, what was I thinking? Sorry. Right. I, 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 I reacted too fast. The direct cause of the, the oil lighter found a The killer used some- He lit the curtain on- Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil? They probably just based on the shape of- It can stand up- If they tipped over- It could have ignited- Some way? Maybe they used invis- There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Or perhaps opening the door caused- Oh, that's- There you go. I agree with that. That's, that's what I meant to get. I should have- I should have listened to everyone. I was a bit too impatient, that one. I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Right. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure! A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan! What? That, no, that's not it. No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. Right. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? Right. It looked like they were scattered everywhere, but some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Yeah. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? Well, they tipped over. Oh, they're the ones who started the fire. The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. Yeah. A domino effect. 
You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? How about that? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. Yeah. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. Boom, 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 boom. We didn't start the fire. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. Yeah. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? Well, it was dark, so we didn't know. That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. Right. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. Good reason. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? Really? Killer did the other thing to hide the domino effect. Was it the fire? Um... No, 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 no. Is it the oil lighter? Crap! No oh, crap. Oh crap, that's not it. No, 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 no. Could it be the MP3 player that we're distracting? I see! Oh, was it? You're talking about the MP3 player, right? So it was that. That him blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. Oh, that would make sense. Inside the warehouse fell even darker because our eyes are still used to the bright sunlight outside. With that darkness, a large hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nakita like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. As if on cue, it suddenly started. Okay, that makes sense. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. Right. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Yeah? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. Yeah. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. Well, that's right because the Monokuma panel in front of the door was blocking it, right? No, that's not the problem. Seriously, you'll be fine. With those words, Akai brushed off everyone's words and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Huh, that's not opening? Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. I knew it. It's a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? Didn't I tell you would be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What happened to opening it slowly? Kane ignored the protest so the mighty kick the door flew open. Bam. Ah, so the door was being blocked by a Monokuma panel. Seems like it. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Right. Yeah. And that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. What do you mean that's how it looks? You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Yeah? Because the panel was blocking it, right? Right. But the blocked doorway... There wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Really? Is that a problem? What do you mean? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. Hmm. If that door was the only entrance to the warehouse... I see, so the problem with Chiaki was... Oh, the killer couldn't have left. Oh... I see! Oh, that would make sense. If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, the killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Yeah, if you think about it. Now that you mention it. Does that mean they were hiding inside? Could be, but everyone else is here. Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. Yeah, exactly. The, based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Nakato? Huh? You don't mean... 
What if that's true? This murder... Um, Hajime? What do you mean? Could it really be? The person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse... There's only one person who could have done that! It would be... Nagato. This is my answer! Oh, it, it really is him! What if it was Nagito? Yeah. Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know. But he, he was the only person in the building. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Really? Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? Yeah. He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Ooh. Let me write this down. Are you saying this was a suicide? D d don't be stupid. Well, it could be. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are, are you saying those were all self-inflicted? Hmm. That's a possibility, Fujiko. But... Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? Well... Could be. <laughs> That's not the issue! He was tied up, remember? Oh, yeah. Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Wait, really? Yeah, you're right. Y yeah as long as you understand. Yeah. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. Hmm. N need to discuss? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Is it really? Like he said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but... I feel like I'm overlooking something. So what are we overlooking? Okay, let's see where our bullets are. Torture wounds, burn throat, survival knife, duct tape, monocle, punch, monocle, pants, light, oil lighter. Okay. Let's see what everyone says. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Tying just the legs is one thing, but... Tying both arms would be impossible. Um... You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. Could it be? How about if you use your teeth? Not really. Or if you use your front tail. What? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? Unless... Could it be the burnt rope? To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Tying just the legs is one thing, but... I think it's the burnt tying rope. Tying both arms would be impossible. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How Damn about it. if you use your teeth? Or if you use your dirty joke? Is that a dirty joke? Okay, so I have two possibilities. The beginning part. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. Oh, that no, was easy. That's wrong. That was actually the first guess. Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? What? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were... Well, yeah. No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. Yeah, because one of his arms... Well, was burnt. Well, one of, the, one of the rope on his right arm was burnt. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. Yeah. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before then. Um... It well, burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But... But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. Oh, because his, his hand wasn't burnt. I move that Nagito's arm is... His right sleeve. I see! Right. Take a close look at his right sleeve. There's no burn. Oh, burns. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. 
Exactly. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Yeah. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah. Yeah, that should be the case. <sighs> Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. What? Akane, you should not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. No. That's definitely wrong. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? What? That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. <laughs> what? I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? That's right. It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah! That much is obvious. Hajime, you you tricked me. Give me back that Benjamin. What? Not only did she try to charge me, now she got some money back? What the heck? Oh, a Benjamin is like the dollar bill. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay, never mind. Uh, uh, hold on. There should be a way. Really? Then hurry up and spill it. If it's something lame, I'll make you give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest. What? Um, way to stab yourself in your right hand using only your right hand. It's okay. There's definitely an answer for this. Hmm. Let's see here. Torch wounds, burnt ropes, and knife, Michael. Let's see what everyone says. Even if says. Nagito's right hand was free. How could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, um, could he stab his hand that way? That would not work. Is he a throwing knife expert? How? No. Maybe he propped the knife somehow and oh, slammed his right hand down on it. Oh damn it! I missed it. Propped it onto what? Hmm. If he I, just propped the knife... I think we have found our winner. He could have used his bound left hand. No. If you're tied up, your arms won't bend that easily. True. We don't know if his left hand could even reach his right hand. Okay, I think I think we found it. If Nagito can only use his right hand to stab himself in the palm, then how did he do it? Even if Nagito's... How could he stab his... If he threw the knife and let the knife... Could he stab his hand? Is he a throwing knife? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? Yes! I agree with that! Did. Hmm. Ah, sorry. A life-size Monokuma plushie. He must have used that to prop the knife. Right. Makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. Yeah. He inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop <laughs> it up. Then he slammed his hand onto it. That would be terrible. I don't want to do that. If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. And it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. Yeah. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. Ugh, that, that's a terrible feeling. I... I see. So that's the trick. Yeah. But for a moment, I seriously thought Monokuma died or something. <laughs> we wish. A bleeding plushie is super scary. It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long. After stabbing his hand, Oops. he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. Hmm. That he makes probably sense. probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. Yeah, that'll work. So what do you think now, Fuyohiko? I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but... There's still one huge problem. What's that? <clears throat> the spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear, right? Yeah. If you think about the order, getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. That makes sense. If that's true, how is that possible? Hmm. He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Unless... Then he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. 
Well, if you think about it, that's... I don't think that, that makes sense. There is a limit to his constitution. Yeah. If you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Yeah. Uh, no. No comment. I'm sorry, I didn't catch all that. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Ah, say it one more time. I need to record it. For reasons. Moving on! Hey, bastard, you better cut it out! Thank you for you, Hiko. Like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. Right. It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. Yeah. So you're saying it's impossible? Is it? But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. Hmm. I also agree with that. Yeah. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty, I could never believe that. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? Um... But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. You just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. Hmm, thank you, Monami. If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. Really? Ah, Mamonami sassing me! But it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far. So... So what? This might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. Really? Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. Hmm. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. Unfortunately, yes. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. Really? No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. That's good. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. Hmm. Really? I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. Oh, that's right. Huh? I feel that there's... Some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. Really? What kind of way? Excuse me. I don't know. I think I might know. You don't know. It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. Okay then. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Alright. Everyone. Working together. Yeah, she's right. We made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then, even now. All right, let's do this. Right. All right then, let's see what our points are. Make your argument. Torture wounds, burnt rope, survival knife, blood on left hand. Could that be it? How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Crap. Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? Right. He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. Um... If that's the case, the only other way is... He used his teeth? No. Or maybe he used his front tail. Again with this. I know guys have tails that get hard when they're grabbed. Please stop. <gasps> what are you saying? A blushing Miss Sonia is freaking awesome! I think I might know where it is. If Nagito commits suicide, then he must have used that spear to stab himself. Even if his arms and legs were tied up, there's no doubt he used some part of his body. 
The only thing he could have used is his left hand. How did Nagito stab himself? Let's work together. When the spear stuck, his right hand was... He was only able to... But his left hand was also tied. Then that rules out his left hand. Mm, nope. If that's the case, Damn the it. only other... He used his... Or maybe he used his... I know guys have... Ta <laughs> what? A blushing Miss Sonia is freaking awesome! I... I... I got it, but... Uh, the purple lines messed me up. How did Nagito... Let's work together. When the spear stuck, his right hand was... He was only able to... But his left hand was also... Then that rules out his left hand. Not exactly. No, that's wrong. I object to that. Not... Kasuichi? Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Yeah. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? It was. But... But there was something off about his left hand. There's no blood on the palms, but there's blood on the sides and the tip of his fingers. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? Right. When the blood splattered, that's as far as it reached, right? Yeah. <clears throat> that settles the description of that blood stain, but it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand, around the middle joints of his fingers. Right. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. Mm, okay. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? He was holding on to the rope. What was Nakito's left hand doing when his back of his left hand was hiding, gripping? I see! Yes! When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. Exactly. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Yeah. Was he grabbing his front tail? No, he wasn't. P perish the thought! He was obviously grabbing the spear! There you go, Sonya. Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. They are. Well, for the, like the stab. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. That makes sense. But even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. Really? That's right, that's the problem. Unless... Hey Chiaki, what do you think? Hmm... Hmm, looks like hey, he's pondering. don't tell me you're getting sleepy. I don't think so. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Really? Oh, I got it. Maybe. Then tell us then. Huh? Really? I think so. Yeah, like I thought. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. That was the whip. What section of the spear was he holding on to? The cord. I see! At least I'm getting my life points back. That's it! Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. Right. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on that part too. Yeah. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Exactly. Isn't the size of that cut off section about the same size as a human fist? Seems like it. Ah, oh, you're right. So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? Yep. And then the blood that was supposed to end up here ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. Exactly. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? Well, it... let's let's You're continue. You're not going to say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? No. That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? Well, there was some blood on a girder, so... That makes sense. Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Hmm. 
Makita was gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. But from there, how would he stab himself from in the stomach with the spear? Hmm. hmm. What is it, Kazuichi? Hmm. Looks like everyone's thinking. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? I like some tea. At a time like this, how about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? Aren't we doing that? That's a long plan name. One step at a time? What does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. Okay. How it was positioned? Nagito was facing up and the spear was stabbed through his stomach. So if it was just before that... That's it. Could it be? The state of the spear and the fact that Nagito was holding the tip of the cord attachment... If I put those two together and think about it, I should be able to figure it out. What the spear was and what state it was in before it stabbed Nagito. We have like a... Oh, logic dive. Okay. Bam. Okay. Hopefully, let's avoid those. Oh, crap. Ow, oh, damn it. That, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, crap. This is bad because since I have very little health left, Oh boy. Eh! Yep. Yep. Okay, question one. Where was the spear just before it held Nagato? It was above Nagato. Yeah, it was before. Yeah, it was above him. Ah, crap. I hate these things. <sighs> Ouchies. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Damn it. Crap. I'm really low on life. That is not good. Okay, question two. Besides the spear, what else is above N Nagito? A ceiling girder. Come on. Yes! Alright. Two down, one to go. Uh, no. Oh, crap! I hate these things! Why do I keep running into them? Ah! Mm. Ooh. E. Jump. Alley you. Final question. Okay. What ceiling connects both the spear and the, sp and the ceiling girder? The rope on what? Crap! Ugh. This is the spear's cord. It was the spear's cord. That wasn't the rope connecting to Nagato's hand. It was the spear's cord. That's what I meant to do. That was too close right there. I already lost a lot of lives. So, Nagato, so it was above Nagato, and it was just with the ceiling girder. It's all coming core. together! Yes! The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. Hmm. Perpendicular? In the middle of the air? Yeah. If Nagito did that all by himself, did he have some sort of ESP? What's that? That'd be awesome, but he probably used the ceiling girder directly above him. Yeah, that's right, because there's blood on it. Nagito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder, and using that as a support, he hoisted the spear directly above him. Yeah. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. Yeah, that'll make sense. I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. Yeah. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. Exactly. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. 
Hmm. Are you serious? He really committed suicide? Like that? I think he might have. He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this, there's no reason <clears throat> they go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. Yeah. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Really? Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? Good question. So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Yeah. For you, Hiko? Then this is for real? He really committed suicide? Maybe. Every single wound on his body, that was all him? I think so. Yeah, it seems like it. Not just that, he did all that while he was gripping a spear? Damn. Oh, jeez. That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Yeah. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? And from the looks of his eyes, Nagito's... Eh. Did he put the duct tape on his mouth, too? Yeah. He probably covered his own mouth so we wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Did he need to go that far? I don't think so. Th that's beyond crazy! Why would he do that to himself? Yeah. He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. Really? By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. Hmm. His goal was to get us all executed. Really? That's why he stabbed himself over and over again? Yeah, I think so. Did he want us to die that bad? I think so. That's messed up. That's seriously so messed up. Tell me about it. Yeah, that's our Nagito. Yep. Jeez, I was starting to feel a little sympathetic toward him. How stupid of me. I completely underestimated his capacity for malice. A mind-boggling malice that threatens us even after he's died. That's the form his malice took. I've forgotten all about it until now. If he was here now, he'd be probably be sneering at me. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Right. Whatever became of that? Yeah. He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. Maybe. So why did he not just do that in the first place? Good question. If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. Okay, this is my, this might be important. I'm killing everyone. I have caused bomb scare. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. Really? He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. Hmm. Good point. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. Hmm. He tried to make us doubt each other. It tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Yeah. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? What do you mean? Reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. Hmm. You are right, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. It appears we've come to a conclusion. The bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so we'd be executed. Hmm. That should be okay, right? Right? What do you mean? Right, right, right. <sighs> What? You're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. 
What do you mean? It's probably just my imagination. <clears throat> no, I mean, at least tell us. Why? I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito commits suicide, but... Why do I feel so uneasy about it? Is it because we don't know who the traitor is? Hmm... Do we overlook something? So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? What do you think, Akane? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. What, what is it? You are right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. Hmm. Then it's okay to end it here, huh? Really? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to reach such a happy ending, right? Well... Then it's okay? It's okay to say, you've decided on the killer? Understood. Then voting ta- No, hold on a sec. What is it? What is it, Hajime? Yeah. <laughs> Good thing you interrupted Monokuma. <laughs> hold on. Why? What is it? Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. Okay. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. Like who the traitor is? Maybe. But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... But what? The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Really? Really? Not just the traitor? No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide, but... I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hmm, still a mystery. I, hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? Yeah. There's just <coughs> one thing that doesn't make sense. And it relates to Nagito's death. It's the death thing. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Hmm. Couldn't tamper with the evidence. Something related to Nagito's death is something that, that even he couldn't have messed with? Y you're gonna keep going? Here, I thought we were finally finished. Hmm. Something related to Nakito's death, a piece of evidence that he, he couldn't mess with. Um. I can blush you blind, girl, my compounds, oil lighter. So I use a count. Ah, crap. Um. Is it this? Crap! Oh crap, I'm almost out of my lives. Oh, is it the Monokuma file? I see! Oh, it is! Oh, that's right! Is it about the Monokuma file? Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? Could it be the time of death? Okay, let's look at it. Victim is Nagito Komayata. Body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. Estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed on his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Hmm, the suspicious part of the Monokuma file that Chiaki's worried about is... What is it? What's hidden in the Monokuma file? Another logic dive? Oh, Hangman's Gambit. Um. Let's see here. Hmm. 
Uh, hmm. Damn it! Oh crap, baskets! This is this isn't good. That's not it. Oh shoot! Oh, is it case? Oh damn it! Oh crap! I knew it. I knew it. Be ah crap! Okay. Let me see if I'll get back, back, get back, back to this very quickly. I mean, I, I have very little health. This is my... We will never give up! Okay, let's see here. Oh. Shoot. Damn it, that's not what I wanted. Uh, 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 case. Damn it. Ah, oh, crap, crap, crap. Crap! Where are you guys coming from? I need an S. Give me a freaking S. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. What? I thought I got an S. I thought I got an S. Damn it. What? Oh. Um, it's not an S. Oh, cause. Cause. That would make so much sense. Oh, I'm doing so badly now. Now we need another E. Damn. No, I. Duh. Oh my gosh, this is... Uh, now I need an A. Stop blowing up! <laughs> I'm doing so badly. Stop! Just stop! Just stop! 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 I got it! Finally! Sorry. Uh. In this particular case is Monokuma file, there's no specific cause of death. Actually, yeah. Let's see. How is there a spear stabbed in his stomach? Where multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his arm, left arm, and knife is impaled to his right hand. Yeah, that's right. There was no cause of death. It never said it caused death. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. Yeah. But the cause of death is obvious, is it not? Mm. The spear in Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was the cause of death. Is it really? It doesn't say that. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. Well... Well, Monokuma? I plead the fifth! The fifth? There he goes again! I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say! But you are saying something. But even during Gundam's case, and before during Mikan's case... Yeah. The thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file <coughs> was always the most important Excuse mystery me. in the case. Oh, purposely omitted. Are you saying? That applies this time, too? Hmm... <sighs> oh, hold on a sec. Then, are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Could be. Are you suggesting, again, that his death wasn't a suicide? I think so. You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place! 
No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide, but... Oh, there is a bug. But it's not just a suicide. Really? Come to think of it. Not just a suicide? Did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? That's some... Okay. Hmm. Did he really commit suicide? Are you sticking up for him? No. That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. Hmm. For example, would that malice just end here? I don't think so. Huh? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? Hmm. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, you know? Yeah. <laughs> How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Yeah. Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. That's interesting. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. Not really. What friendship? Yeah. Jackie? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? Mm hmm. I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. I think that's a good option. You're right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Yeah, one chance, nothing more. Just to be safe, huh? Look. Guess I have no choice. If that's the case, I'll do my best to go along with it. Good. This is friggin' annoying. Sorry. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Good. Hey, Monokuma. You heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait! Yeah! We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be alright. Yeah. That's what I believe. Aww. Aw, uh, even Monami's getting a bit teary-eyed. Splendid! You guys are so splendid right now! <laughs> That's right! If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. Well, that's good. If your all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. Huh. Now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. Really? The absolute hope can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. <clears throat> then this situation we're in might be the thing that Nagito wanted all along. No. Never mind. I'm probably overthinking. Monica? <laughs> hmm? Well, looks like that's the end of part one for the class trial. Uh, of course. Let's get this over. No, with. no! Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought the voting time was gonna start, but. Well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way it was gonna happen. They haven't done this bit yet! Most of the players probably, probably figured that out, too. You're the only one who didn't know. Hey. Is that right, Monami? Hey, how much longer are you going to plan to silk? Let's get along like we always do. You know, you guys don't ever get along. Silence treatment. Alright, you passed. Friendship is measured by how long you extend a silence when you're all alone with someone else. So, Monami are the bestest of best friends! <sighs> Still not really. Don't just say such stupid things! I hate you so much right now! Enough! Why do I have to be hated that much? Well, because you caused us to kill each other? Duh! Besides the fact you step, Besides the fact you step at me like that, I don't trust you at all! That teensy tiny one millimeter bit! How sad! Distressing your friend is much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know. We're not even friends in the first place. Then as your older brother? Let me say this. You're not you're not even my brother. It's sad to live a life without friendship. 
It's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys! Really? Well, there might be some demands for that. Ooh, uh... Ah! I fell for it! I too like Dr. Mappy! Yeah, I would like to save this right here. So, yeah. Hmm. So Nakato did did commit suicide for to try to trick us, or is it some is it for something else? But yeah, there were some there were some areas that I got a bit stumped along the way. But but Chiaki is right. The Monokuma file never specifically said the cause of death for this one. So yeah. So how about that? So I'm going to leave this one right here because unfortunately it's going to be all the time I have to for this video. So in the next part we'll be zooming in the second part of the last class trial and see where else we can, where we can, well, see what we can find out at where we picked up from. And hopefully we'll be able to find out if Nagato really committed suicide and what was his real purpose, or well, not real purpose, what is his what his real plan was. So, stay tuned for more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to super smash that like button. Leave a comment down below to see what you think about this video, and don't forget to share a friend if you want to, and be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to get day for latest content. So, once again, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Speed Streak out.